Hi everybody, welcome back to Print Powder Pelt. Today I'm here with my mom, Brenda. Hi. <laughs> and finally after about three or four years, we are doing a tutorial with her because she's come to visit me on her own and um, she wants me to show her how to do her hair nicely and give her a nice fresh dewy finish and makeup that she can wear every day um, and hide your chin apparently and she goes is there anything I can do to hide this and I said wear black black turtleneck <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna do makeup and hair for mature women. Can you believe she's 65 this year? 65. No. <laughs> I'm not. Alright, so let's get st started. What we're gonna do is my mom has quite fine hair. Have you put product in your hair? No. You haven't? Uh, a little bit, yes. I okay, you lie. <laughs> I forgot. She lies. I forgot. Um, I'm gonna put some um, thickening spray by Bumble and Bumble. And this is to help give her some volume because she has really, really fine hair. And um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to run a blow dryer through it and get it into a Nash shape. I'm going to use my Remington um, Doobie hair dryer thingy here. I forget what it's called. What is it called? It's my... Um, um, it doesn't say it's my Remington hair dryer all right so let's get started and I'm gonna basically just go through and curl her hair and I'll come back to you in a minute Okay, so I'm just going to back home just a little bit for her. She's got flat head in the back like me. It's hereditary, isn't it? Yes. And calyx. And calyx everywhere. I'm going to spray it. Do you put more in the front? I'm going to. Right. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she's trying to tell me what to do. She's like, she's like, you're gonna put some spray in the front. It's no, like, no, no. I mean, my bangs like more wispy in the front. No. Okay. No. Uh, this is my tutorial, <laughs> not yours. Okay. Have you ever been able to tell me what to do? No. Right, so do you have moisturizer on at the moment? I do not. You do not? Okay. We're going to pop on some moisturizer now. We are going to use Bare Minerals Purely Nourishing Moisturizer for combination skin. That is what my mom has. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of a serum on her eyes to tighten. This is one of my favorite Instant Lift Gels by Arbonne. And we're going to put this around the crow's feet. Um, not that you have any, and um, where she's got any sort of wrinkly bits. And then once that's set in, I'm going to be using a BB cream on her because um, you want something that's every day and you said you're having a hard time because you don't have loads of time to do makeup. So we're going right. to use a sort of all in one. But um, just to brighten her face, just for this occasion, um, you know, you can obviously... Um, do what you want if you don't have loads of time, but I'm gonna use That Gal by Benefit, which is a brightening uh, face primer. And this is gonna give her that sort of glow she was after. <laughs> right, do you feel that tightening at all? Yeah, I do, yes. You look like 40 now. <laughs> of 65. Okay, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my mom's eye makeup and I'm going to use the um, Even Better Concealer in Natural by Clinique and I'm going to pop that onto her lids and this is going to give her a nice blank canvas to work with. So if you close your eyes. You have my stomach. Mm -hmm. Next, I'm going to pop on a cream eyeshadow by Flower, and this color is Orchiding Around. And this is quite a nice one because it can just be put on with your finger if you don't have loads of time. So if you close your eyes. But I'm not going to cover the entire eye. I'm just going to let it sort of blend out so it doesn't make her eyes too dark. Can I fall asleep now? Yeah. I'm now going to take a cream shadow by Bare Minerals and I'm going to take that around the inside of the eye to open the eyes up and brighten them. I need that. And buff it out. So for being 85, so for being 85, she doesn't have a whole whole she doesn't have a whole lot of wrinkles, um, so which is quite good. Were you born in, what 1926? <laughs> That's not very. You've nice. seen a lot happen, haven't you, in your lifetime? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I bet the 60s was really weird. Yeah, I was a child. Well, no, you must have been, by then, you were, what, 40? <laughs> okay, next I'm just going to take another cream color and I'm just going to pop it underneath the brow just a little bit to lift. Okay, that's all I'm going to do with shadow because I don't want to overload my mom with shadow um, so that she has more time to do other things. So next I'm going to take a cream liner, and this one is Black by Barium. Uh, actually, this is a gel waterproof liner. And I'm going to take a flat angle brush, and I'm going to run that along her lash line. Now, if you just close your eyes, I'm just going to pop this loosely along the lash line. And I'm not going to make it really opaque, I'm just going to, it's really light. Now we can move on to the base. And we'll come back to the eyes in a minute. Eyes look more open. They do, don't they? I was looking tired. You were looking tired. 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 So, I'm going to use uh, the Rodeo BB Cream Skin Tint. And this is the... Um, BB Venom. Okay. okay. Uh, this color is in Hamptons. Hamptons. What do you wear? I wear um, Clinique. Do you, do you like it? Yes. Yeah. Matte. Matte. Okay. So that's nicely blended. We're going to take the Bare Minerals Stroke of Light Concealer, and this one is an O2. And we're going to get rid of my mom's bags. She's got baggage. This has light reflective properties, so this is going to help light bounce off the eyes. Very nice. I'm just going to pop a little bit of this around and um, pop that in here. Okay. How's that feeling? Yeah, it feels nice. I like it. So, my mom has, um, my mom is a sun worshipper, aren't you? Yes. She has spent a lot of time in the sun, so she has a few little sort of sunspots that um, 
just tend to crop up as we get older anyway. And they can be removed, but if they don't bother you, they don't bother you. But what you can do is you can just take a little bit of concealer, and I'm just taking that Even Better Concealer by Clinique, and just covering that surface area right there. So there you go. She's looking nice and fresh at the moment. All over you. Huh? Baby oil. No good. No. So I'm going to comb through my mom's brows and set those. She's got brilliant brows. I am really pleased with the fact that she's never over plucked her brows. Because um, I know a lot of people that do that. I get them waxed. She gets them waxed. Did you know, though, I heard that if you wax your brows, it actually pulls on the skin and is more likely to make your eyes sag eventually. I just found this out recently. Maybe, um... Get them threaded? Yes, I've done that too. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Cool. Painful, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to take... Oh, sorry. This is um, Browsings by Benefit. And I'm just going to fill in the little space that she has. My mom used to be blonde. And now she's, um, you've gone brown, haven't yes, you? Yes. Yeah. To look younger. And it's worked. You now look 64. Joking. I'm now going to curl my mom's lashes, so if you just look down, and I'm going to take Their Real by Benefit Mascara, if you just look down please. Are you liking it so mm -hmm. far? Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. I like all bright and bright, like the sun. Bright. Like the sun. Like the sun. I'm gonna take that orchiding around again, and I'm just gonna take a small amount on a flat brush. I'm gonna sort of dust it off in the the lid, and then I'm gonna bump that up underneath her lashes. So if you look up for a second, just bump it up. Okay. What's that do? Uh, that instead of doing a liner around your eyes. I did um, a little bit of shadow, and that just defines your eyes a little bit more. Okay. And then as you get older, you tend to get redness in your waterline. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cream um, eye pencil, and I'm just going to color that in a little bit. Just pop it in the waterline, and that's going to brighten the eyes a bit. So if you... Okay, look up to the ceiling, and try not to blink hard. Look. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now we're just going to lightly powder. I just need to set the um, foundation in certain places, but not too much. So I'm going to zoom out. Powder by MAC. And I'm just going to dust it. So my mom wanted a little bit of contouring, so I told her I would. Uh, this is Harmony by MAC. You've seen me use it before. It's one of my favorites. So I'm going to go along the hollows of her cheeks right here. And I'm just going to buff that in. And then just to add a little bit of color back to her cheeks, I'm going to use uh, the pink from my e.l.f. contouring palette. It's looking good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm looking more and more like 52. Getting close. Now you like to wear really light colors on your lips, don't you? I do. I'm going to take, this is an Estee Lauder, um, Wild Lilac Lip Gloss to it. I'm 
I think adding a little bit of pink rather than going really light like you do sometimes um, is better because it doesn't wash you out. This is my mama. She's actually only 52. Mm -hmm. So, there you go. I'll get you all tussled. She's a bit like, she's a bit foxy lady. Mm. She's a foxy lady. The men's like her. Thank you. <laughs> so there you go. We finally did a tutorial, Mommy and I, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And, <laughs> and <laughs> thanks for watching, and hopefully we won't go so long next time um, without doing a tutorial with her. So, mwah. All right, see you next time. Bye. Bye.